Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as a link in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to enter to win a $100 giveaway, you can do that by just entering winner in the comment section down below, liking and subscribing. But Scorpio, let's allow this for our family members who could use the come up. I will be drawing on April 30th. PayPal and Cash App is, or Cash App is required. Now, um, I will be doing this monthly and the better I do, the bigger my channel grows, the bigger the donation will be. This is to help our family members who could use that little um, Hail Mary from the divine. I'm hoping to show you that sometimes you can um, have a little miracle happen in your life exactly when you need it. So Scorp, a lot of celebration, something, the fruit of your labor coming in. When I was manifest, when I, my goodness, when I was meditating on your energy, I was hearing Red Robin, mm, you know that Red Robin, Red Robin commercial? Red Robin, din, is that maybe you've just heard that or you will hear a commercial that or you will see a Red Robin or just have. There's something about Red Robin. It is repeat. It's on repeat here. I feel that I'm in the next six to nine months. There's going to be a lot of growth. Something has been stuck. Something has not been moving. Um, you are finding your way, though. You're on an exploration. I feel here that... Um, you are in new territory. Perhaps you're just getting out of a marriage or a relationship, or you're just starting a new career, or you're getting out of college or high school or whatever. Congratulations, because the fruits of your labor are coming in. Perhaps for some of you, you are looking to go back to school and you're charting out your life. It's going to be very important to stay grounded right now, okay? You are dependable, but you need to be methodical about something. I do feel here there's going to be a ceremony, a graduation, an award ceremony for you, your children, or somebody coming up soon. Somebody could be retiring as well. And I feel like for some of my older viewers who are retiring, you're a little nervous about retirement. But over the next six to nine months, a lot of, look at this, what did I say? Celebration, victory coming in for you. A lot of social events feeling renewed, daydreaming, fantasizing, okay? There's a lot of memories and nostalgia. The past returns coming back. Oh boy, we can't get away. Y'all just know that one of the reasons why I always channel somebody from your past is because they are on, you are on their mind. Even if you're not thinking about this person, I, I pick up on it if they're thinking of you. So I can't control you know, like I can't win with y'all. Like I have beautiful outcomes. I have not got either way. Somebody's got an issue. I don't know what I'm going to channel until I get into the energy. I can only give you what I see and what I feel and know that not every reading applies to you. There, there are other many people watching. So please be aware of that. For a lot of you here, the past is about to return. It's been stuck. Yeah. They feel you're one of a kind. You're hard to find. You're irreplaceable. But Scorpio, they may be wasting your time. Nothing good will come of this prolonging. I feel for a lot of you, you have a lot of celebration and a lot of new things coming in. But you have a very big heart. You're kind. You're loving. You're generous. Um, there, there, you've been trying to be self-controlled. There is a calm before the storm. Right? You have been trying your damnedest to keep yourself practical, balanced, and to not, um, I feel... Uh, have wishful thinking regarding this person. You know, you're cleaning up your life. You're getting rid of distractions and making healthy choices. Somebody is consumed by their sexual passion for you, consumed by their lust. They're infatuated. They feel here that there's something they want to come in and give you that's mutually beneficial to the both of you. I feel here that um, you have unlocked mysteries. Yeah, look at this. New experiences coming in here for you, Scorpio. What was closed before will now open. I'm telling you, in the next six to nine months, y'all, the messages that I was receiving is you are in uncharted territory and something so beautiful is coming for you. 
in coming out of this, whatever you're, you're um, celebrating coming up soon, make sure you're celebrating how wonderful you are. Scorpio, you have such a big heart. Whoever I am reading today, you are a gentle, beautiful soul and you deserve genuine love as well. This person knows this. They feel this about you. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Look at this, y'all. Wow. I am so exhilarated. I claim spirit. I claim you are a natural leader. You stand out from the rest. You could have children with this person or a lot of inner child healing has been going on. Spirit, what do they want from my babies? What do they want from Scorpio? Yeah, look at this unicorn. Wow. This person, let me tell you, this person puts you above the rest, but I feel Scorpio you are refusing this offer. I feel for some of you, this person is very naughty. There could have been a lot of accusations. They could have made a lot of accusations like you were always cheating because they feel like it was too good to be true. They feel here like if they think of you in the way they do, then other people do. You are avoiding extremities and bringing your life into balance, Scorpio, and do not allow this person to blind you. They want to come in here and, and um, uh, show you a side of them that may not be 100%. This person may only be showing you one side of them or telling you half of a story. For some of you, you may be out celebrating with friends and you run into this person. For others, if you work with this person, there's something going on at work where you're going to be celebrated or, or get a promotion. And this person is going to use that opportunity to come in. Yeah, there's jealousy. There's there's hidden things. Um, something will be revealed. I'm telling you all, um, it's opposite of what you think. This person here is trying to um, get you to see them in a different light. This could be happening here in June. For a lot of you, you have a lot of award ceremonies or um, graduations or something coming up here this summer. Surround yourself with positive people. Be grateful for what you have. You may be a November Scorpio like me, but festive times, finding joy in your life again. You were born for this baby. You were born for whatever this is. There are miracles, miracles happening. Oh, Scorpio, this is so beautiful. I'm telling you right now, look at this. Key to closed doors, unlocking mysteries with miracles unfolding with justice. What is fair is fair. This is your karma, sweetheart. Whoever I am channeling here, you are, you are a beautiful person. This person is being consumed with the passion they feel for you, the lust and desire that they feel for you. And they're going to come in and try to um, shoot their shot in some way, but they're not telling you the hundred percent truth. I feel they want to go round two for sure. Fulfilled, keep doing what you're doing because I like it. Yeah. I feel at home when I'm inside you. This person is uh, ready to come mm, shook. I woke up one day and realized I am madly in love with you. Well, here you go. This is what we're dealing with. This person woke up and said, oh my God, I just left my wish fulfillment walk out the door. I just left Queen B. Uh, King B walk out the door. This person has a huge heart. They genuinely loved me. What did I do? That's, that's where we are. But guess what, Scorp? You're moving on to new things. You're moving on to better things, moving on to balance here, cleaning up your life. And I don't know if this person is going to recognize the Scorpio that they come back to, right? Tell me about this person being consumed by Scorpio. They're consumed by your love. Yeah, they feel here like you have been cold, that you have been cut off to them. You could be going through a divorce, but they look at you here like you're single and abundant and standing in your power. Nine of Pentacles energy. This could be another Scorpio, an air sign, a earth sign, or a cancer. They, they are definitely coming back here in the Six of Cups, but they have been mentally conflicted. For some of you, you were married to this person. You had the Ten of Pentacles with them. For others, you are working your way to a Ten of Pentacle kind of life, and they are watching from the sidelines. They are the ones, I kept hearing methodical. They are the ones, I feel, that are being very methodical, and it's going to bring a tower moment. This could be an Aries or a Scorpio. They're coming in here in a boss energy, 
in a leader energy in the emperor energy, male or female, because they want to uh, win you back some way, but something may be illuminated to you, Scorp. This person looks at you like you are their son. They woke up one day and realized it, I guess, because I feel they wounded you. They put you through a lot, but the finish line is here. You're almost through this season and the fruits of your labor is coming in. It really is. Oh, I'm so excited for you. You already know high priestess energy here. There are secrets. You already know your intuition has told you everything you need to know about this person. You're going through a major rebirth. Scorpio, whoever I'm channeling here today, you are going through probably one of the biggest rebirths of your life. I don't even know if you feel like the same person from day to day. It's, it's that drastic. Right. I feel that you're waking up and you're realizing that I have got to walk away from things that no longer serve me. I can't continue down this path. I can't continue um, staying stuck here. I can't continue this. I've got to move forward. I feel here there could be another person involved or other people involved for sure. Tell me what tell me what this person's hiding spirit. What are they hiding? Why are they coming in only showing Scorpio one thing? part of them. They could have a gambling problem, but one of the biggest things that they're hiding y'all is that um, they don't know when to quit. They are never satisfied and they're stalking you. This person's watching you and pretending like they're not. They're obsessing over you and pretending like they don't care. I mean, this is strange when people do this. They're staying really quiet in the background, acting like they could give a flying shit about you, but really they're watching you. And so when they come in, I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to mention something about something you posted or something you said, and you're going to realize, oh my God, this person has been watching me. See, they're secretly jealous of your success. But I feel like you also could have some secret haters around you or there's a third party involved that's secretly hating. This person is reaching rock bottom, y'all. They are stuck in a limited mindset here. They have a pessimistic attitude and they're they are hitting rock bottom. They could have problems with spending money. They could have problems with money and they're hiding this from you. They're coming in acting as if everything is cool. They're secretly jealous of whatever award or whatever you're doing. If you're graduating, whatever the case is, they seem to be hating on you for that because they feel so stuck. They feel so um, pessimistic. This person is having obsessive thoughts and you are literally their top priority. They watch you all the time. And when you speak to this person, if you decide to, you're going to know there's something they're going to say and you're going to realize, oh my gosh, this whole time I've been yearning and missing this person. They have been sitting in the background playing games with me opposed to coming and talking to me. I'm trying to forget you and it's not working. I realized that I was selfish and I'm ashamed of that. And point blank period, did I lose you? Boy, oh boy, this person knows that you are on your way out the damn door, that you are not tolerating this anymore, tolerating this. I really do wish you the very best here. Please remember miracles are happening for you. Get into it. Get excited. Get ready. Tell yourself every day, a miracle is happening for me today. I will. The fruits of my labor are coming in for me today. Something great and grand happening here for you, Scorpio. I wish that you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Ah, love and light.